This American assumption proved disastrously false. Our thinking neglected the role of communist ideology. The Chinese Communist Party didn't want to be like us. It still doesn't. China grew stronger by taking advantage of our open markets, but it also grew less free. President Donald Trump deserves credit for upending this bipartisan cons consensus. He made both parties take off their blinders. Despite the divisions in our politics today, both parties are now more clear-eyed about the Chinese threat that they have been that has been there for a very long time. That's a good thing. But being clear-eyed is just not enough. It's not the same as having the right solutions and the necessary determination to protect America. President Trump was almost singularly focused on our trade relationship with China. He was right about our trade abuses. It was and still is a critical issue. But Trump did too little about the rest of the Chinese threat. He did not put us on a stronger military foothold in Asia. He did not stop the flow of American technology and investment into the Chinese military. He did not effectively rally our allies against the Chinese threat. Even the trade deal he signed came up short when China predictably failed to live up to its commitments. He also showed moral weakness. In his zeal to befriend President Xi, Trump congratulated the Communist Party on its 70th anniversary of conquering China. That sent a wrong message to the world. Chinese communism must be condemned, never congratulated.